guess what? It's Thanksgiving week. I was really bummed that I did not get a turkey hat in time. So I'm gonna pretend that my cheeseburger hat is a turkey hat. <laughs> um, anyways, I'm gonna keep today pretty, um, pretty short. We're just gonna kind of quickly go through a few things just cause it's kind of a fun week. Um, but one of the things we're gonna learn, we're gonna talk about is the letter N. So you can do your letter N paper or mom might have you skip it today. It's totally up to you guys. There's also, you can make a cute little, um, I showed your mama, but we're gonna do, at least in our house, we're gonna do a thankful turkey. So we're gonna make this cute little turkey and we're gonna write on the feathers all the things we're thankful for, or you could use one like this too. But we're gonna think of all the things that make us happy, all the things we're thankful for, like maybe our pets, our family, our friends, our houses, where we live, because goodness gracious, I live in East Wenatchee and it is so beautiful here. Every day I get to wake up and just see the most beautiful mountains. So um, there's so many things to be thankful for. So right on there, every day, try to come up with something that makes your heart um, just super happy, okay? And then you can do your weather journal or your writing journal if you want to. Um, maybe you're just gonna do your art project and be done today. That's really up to you guys. And then I also have, you maybe you wanna practice, there's some Thanksgiving words. You could do your word trace or your Play-Doh mats. Um, but yeah, so go ahead, hit pause, do a few things, and the silly song maybe, and your literacy centers, and I will see you in a little bit. Hit pause. Hello, welcome back. Okay, so for a quick little math time, um, we've got our number three. One, two, three. All right, da, 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 da. So you're gonna count which one of these are three, and I tried to kind of trick you on some of these, so be careful. And find your three things and glue them on your three and color your three. And then we're also gonna learn a new 3D shape, and that is a cone. Isn't that cool? So I wanna show you something. When we're doing the cone, it looks like this. Do you see how on the bottom it looks like a circle? But it's a cone, or it looks like an ice cream cone, or a party hat, okay? But this one, do you see how it's different on the bottom? Do you see that? And these sides are flat. Do you see how those look like triangles? This one is a pyramid. Okay, so we don't, we're not talking about this shape. This is a different shape. We're talking about the cone. Do you see how it's flat all the way around and the bottom is a circle? Okay, there's no real triangles on this one, all right? So this is a cone. This is what we're talking about. Like a party hat, a traffic cone, an ice cream cone. Okay, this is the one we're learning about today. And when you go out, maybe see if you can find something that's a cone. All right, I wonder if you could do this. Can you find three things that are a cone? That might be really hard. I don't even know if I have three things in my house that are a cone. That's pretty tricky, all right? Um, so go ahead and do that. I told you today's just gonna be a real quick day to your math centers. And then um, when you come back, we're gonna talk about our turkey headbands. Wouldn't that be awesome? And we'll read a story. All right, hit pause. Hello, welcome back. All right, I hope you had fun doing your math centers and some of your math work. And I hope it was super quick and awesome. And now I'm gonna show you, we're gonna turn ourselves into our turkey for Thanksgiving. So have your adult help you, but you're gonna cut out some turkey feathers and you're gonna need a long strip of paper and you're gonna carefully glue one at a time all your feathers at the end and then here, let me take my uh, my cheeseburger hat off. And look, your adult can help you turn this into a headband. Does it look like I have a turkey? <laughs> Isn't that funny? So then I got a turkey tail on the back. All right, so that's what you're gonna work on. And then hold on to it because then tomorrow we're gonna make the turkey face, and the turkey body. Does that sound good? All right, but before you leave and go and do that, I wanted to read you one story to end our day. Okay, so this is the first Thanksgiving day. 
One dressed in linen, sitting in a tree, dreaming of the tall, strong ship on which he crossed the sea. Two dressed in deerskin, gathering nuts below, giggling as they tiptoe by, too shy to say hello. Three in the garden, pulling up some roots, turnips for the po pottage pot, and parsnips for the soup. That's a good garden. Four helping father catch fish in the bay, some to dry for winter time, and some to eat today. Five in the forest searching as they roam, finding sticks to light the fire that keep them warm at home. Six stepping softly with small bows in hand, following a rabbit's tracks across a patch of sand. Seven fetching water, run with pails to fill, then walk home with careful steps so not to drop a spill. Eight on the sandbar, working in a crew, digging for some tasty clams to make a steaming stew. Nine in the cornfield, bringing in the maize, sewed with care as Guanto topped last spring on panting days. Oh, look at all that corn. 10 making baskets by the fire's glow, weaving slender cattail reeds while singing soft and low. Eleven rejoicing in the autumn sun, laughing, shouting, playing tag, their chores, their chores at last all done. Twelve tables groaning beneath a harvest spread, one pop and pilgrim friends together will break bread. Join under one sky with one prayer to say, a prayer of thanks for all they have this first Thanksgiving day. That end. All right, you guys have an awesome day and I'll see you tomorrow.